everyone. My name is Avery Kibler. I'm in fifth grade Spanish immersion. I'm also a theater elective for students. And it is my pleasure to welcome you all to our fourth and fifth grade musical, Star Quest. <laughs> Star Quest is about the importance of memorizing God's word into your heart for later in your life when Satan comes and tries to tempt you away from God. Our musical is also about the power of forgiveness, that we should forgive others like Jesus forgave us, even though we didn't deserve it. Now I'm gonna say this in Spanish. Hola a todos, mi nombre es Avery Kibler. Soy en quinto grado en Español Inmersión para estudiantes y también estoy en teatro electivo para estudiantes. Es mi placer para invitar a todos ustedes a nuestro cuarto y quinto grado musical, Star Quest. Nuestro, nuestro musical es sobre la importancia de memorizar versículos en nuestro corazón para, cuando, para después en nuestra vida cuando Satanás venga y trata de tentarnos afuera de Dios. Nuestro musical también es sobre el poder de perdón y perdonar a, a otros como Jesús perdonó a nosotros, pero nosotros no lo merecemos. Hi, my Hi, my name is Noah Bash, and I'm in fifth grade theater elective. Please join me in a word of prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you that we can have this show because some schools don't even have this kind of theater. Lord, we bless all the uh, uh, directors, the actors, the singers, the dancers, the fourth grade chorus, and the crowd, and especially you, Lord, because you made all these hands, and all these hands was put into this show. We thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for our sins, because we wouldn't be here without you, Lord. And Jesus is saying, we say, amen. amen. And we, we present Star Quest.
systems are functioning normally, Captain. We are approaching an uncharted world, planet B6241. It appears to be inhabited. This could be a new opportunity to share God's word. Agreed. Proceed with our standard communication greeting. On screen, greetings the inhabitants of planet B6241. We are StarQuest J316 on a mission to spread the good news to planets in the Omega Galaxy, requesting permission to transport down to the surface. That's strange. The transmission didn't go through. Try again. Greetings, inhabitants of planet B6241. We are StarQuest J316, requesting permission to transport down to the surface. Captain, I'm not reading any electronic signals coming from the surface. This planet does not seem to have interstellar communication capability. All right, let's take the ship in for a surface landing. Zeta, please notify Chief Engineer Stella to prepare our Bible introduction modules and our portable replicators in case these citizens are in need of food and clothing. Yes, Commander. Message sent. Approaching planet B6241. Reducing speed for atmospheric entry. Initiating landing procedures. Captain, Boogie and I encountered something strange in the Intergalactic Bible database. Strange? What do you mean, strange? I just tried to access a verse to share on the planet. The verse, it, it wasn't there. Was it there? What do you mean it wasn't there? What is it, Boogie? It wasn't there. It's the Intergalactic Bible database our only source of scriptures for generations. There's no way that would just not be there. That's how we read the Bible. Perhaps it is malfunctioning. Did you try blowing on it? I do not see how blowing on it will. I'm joking, Zeta. Ancient electronics sometimes used to start working if you hit them or blew into them. Fascinating. Well, it looks like I'm still able to access the mission verse. But just to be safe, will you look into it, Zeta? Wonderful. I'm sure Zito will be able to reboot the system and we'll be able to read the scriptures again in no time. Landing is complete. Ready to disembark. Star Quest J316. Let's go, crew. Top what's out. As you know, our mission verse is Mark 12, 29 through 31. And what's our mission? To boldly show the love of God to everyone we meet.
them, getting off their ship without the cat in the world. You're pretty diabolical, madam. I'm so excited to start working with you. It's not every day you come to your repentance of a real villain. Do you think they suspect what we're doing? They have no idea. All we have to do is finish erasing the Bible from the Bible database verse by verse so nobody notices. They'll never even know anything's wrong long after I've deleted the whole thing. Bavaria. Soon, the intergalactic Bible database will be no more. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't giggle if you're going to be diabolical. Villains don't giggle. For heaven's sake, you need to laugh like this. <laughs> then you twirl your cape. Uh, permission to twirl my hair? Granted. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me type it down for you. You start with the moo-hoo. Moo-hoo. Waha. Waha. Real low. Moo-hoo. Get a little louder. Moo-hoo. <gasps> we'll work on it. Visitors, I'm Karen. Welcome to the planet Harmonia. Thank you. We are the crew from Star Quest J316. Wow, a real spaceship. Does it fly? <laughs> he says, of course a star could fly. <laughs> what is that? He's a boogie walk, and his species communicates solely through percussion. We rescued him from a meteor shower on planet Rhythmia a few years ago. His brain translates his thoughts into actions and he dances them out. And you understand him? How? I took a class at Circus Academy. Our mission is to share the love of Jesus with everyone in the galaxy. We are Christians too. We are so happy to meet others in the family of God. Excuse me, Captain. I have been attempting to access the intergalactic Bible database and it does not appear to be just a glitch. Apparently, there are many verses missing from the intergalactic Bible database. Hmm. Alert the crew. I'm sorry to cut it short, but we have to return to the ship to investigate the situation further. Maybe we can help? You're so kind, but I'm afraid the problem seems to be galaxy-wide. These Bible verses have been completely erased. Everywhere. I have just checked. The entire intergalactic Bible database has been erased. It no longer exists. No! It, it can't be! I have Bible verses memorized in my heart. You do? Do you know any verses in Romans? I do. Let's all go to the ship. We will be grateful for your assistance.
hidden that bad robot hacking into system for us without even knowing it. Excellent. I'm sick of that star quest. J316, traveling around, changing time your Bibles. They came to my home planet Amnesia last year, and everybody loved them. Everybody wanted to know about this god, the one who created the universe. I told them, don't worry about who created it, worry about who's running it. But they wouldn't listen. That's when I vowed to remove the word of God from their memories. <laughs> my circuits in the robot's data processor. <laughs> they won't. And now that I'm gone, I'm the only one with the codes to restore the database. This is so much fun. Watch this. The circuits we implanted will make the robot do whatever we want. <laughs> you must sleep to the bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Oh my goodness. What's happening? You're a sheep. Bah. Zero, what is going on? You're a nation of rock star. My goodness! You're a pastor! Every head bowed, every eye closed. <laughs> Zeta circuit seems to be overloaded and she's giving an altar call. Zeta, wait! Okay. Do you have any other verses memorized? How about John 14, 6? I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Got it, another verse entered. I have one, John 15, five. I'm the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I am, we will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you could do nothing. I love both those verses. They remind us that Jesus is the only way, the only way to the Father and the only way to bear fruit. <sighs> Captain, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we have a situation with Zeta. Why don't we contact Starbase 20 of an engineering consult? We'll see if we can. Oh my! Your robot is so cool. This seems like a good opportunity to go on a Bible verse. We shall separate us from the love of Christ. Who shall separate us? Who shall separate us? Yeah!
Marvel database. Thanks, everyone! Yay! This is such an awesome verse to memorize. We want to remember that nothing can separate us from God's love. Zita, as much as I appreciate the enthusiasm of the song, we are getting you to the repair bay. It's too late. I have disabled the shield. Stelita will rule the galaxy. Stelita? Stelita? Who's that? <gasps> yes, my droid bot's friend. Intruder alert security to the bridge. Never mind that. I've disabled the communication system. Your droid bot's friend was helpful enough to give me access to everything on your ship once it hacked into her processor. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being rude. Let me introduce myself. I am Delita of the glorious planet Amnesia. Amnesia? Amnesia. Now I need to start over. I am Delita of the glorious planet Amnesia. Sounds familiar? Does it ring a bell? I have a memory of amnesia. Did we visit there recently? You most certainly did. I'm surprised you don't remember. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No one that visits planet amnesia remembers anything. But after you guys left, everybody was talking about Jesus and God's word. And now they want to follow God and not me. So that's when I vowed to remove the word of God from the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> Zappy, please, keep going. So you're the one who erased the Bible database. Yes, I am. And now, without the words of God, you'll feel hopelessly abandoned and will submit to me. <laughs> oh, I just love to see the shattered expressions. Wait, why aren't you shattered? Why aren't you devastated? Why do you not feel abandoned by your God? Because your plan isn't going to work. The people on this planet haven't been affected by your sinister plan. They've memorized Bible verses long before you started erasing them. I'm not concerned. They can't know all the Bible verses, can they? We may not know all of them, but there are others in our family who do. Christian followers all over the galaxy have been studying his word for generations to learn how to follow him. He's right, and there's power in the word of God. But the database, that was a power. No, the power is in God's word. You can erase the database, but you can't erase God's word or its power. And we can show you God's love, even when you're trying to hurt us. Love? I don't need love. I have power. <laughs> Everyone needs love, and God's love isn't like anything else. God's love is unconditional. It doesn't matter on what you do or who you are. Wait, you're saying this God loves even me? God loves even you. And God wants to show love even when people do hurtful things to us. He will help us love each other with his love and in peace with one another. Oh no, you're going to sing? Blech.
from Spacer Aid for Delita and Zappy. They've come a long way to get here and must be thirsty. I'm on it. Space Raid. Oh, well, thank you. <clears throat> I'm quite parched. Zeta is circuit from my sword, Captain. I was able to successfully rid her system. Captain, but I power down. You don't have any more guitar solos for us? Whatever do you mean? Now to restoring the database. Lieutenant, put out an alert on all frequency. We need the family of God to come together and help us remember his word. Gladly, Commander. I regret that I was the one who unknowingly helped her carry out her plan. It's not your fault, Zeta. We trust that God is always working for our good. The captain's right. If this hadn't happened, we wouldn't have learned the outdated art of Bible memorization. I had no idea how important it was to remember God's word. I thought it would always be there for us to read. Christians throughout the centuries have been committing God's word to memory, using it to feed their souls and to guide their steps every day. Captain, I think you're going to want to hear this. Check your Bible database. It's back, Captain. The entire intergalactic Bible database has been returned. The deleta undeleted it. Yay! Well, I learned that God's word will never pass away. But it's restored on one condition. Oh, no. That you guys teach me what it means because I don't know how God could love even me. Gladly. He loves you just as much as he loves us. And as we learn to walk with him, we realize how great his grace is towards us. Even when we mess up, none of us are perfect.
in all wisdom, teaching and administering one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Psalms 119 verse 11 says, I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Dear Lord, please teach us to hide your word in our hearts so in our star quest to reach others, we may continue to grow in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Boys and girls, what an amazing job. Every year it gets better and better. So let's give it up for them again. All right, I always say, we always talk about how God creates us with different gifts and talents, as you can see, and you never know who's in the audience. We even have pre-K here. Who's going to make it to our stage eventually? Third grade, this is what you have to look forward to, and some of our fourth graders next year as well. So um, again, one of the things I also love about this performance is, yes, it's fantastic. We get to see gifts and talents, but it also shares a message. And the message of just hiding God's word in our heart is what stood out to me. Because we never know who we might encounter somewhere. We might not have our Bible with us. But if we have verses, we can encourage people. We can share the gospel. And, and it's also good for us when, when we're having a day. Right? We just can always remember how much God loves us. So, so thankful for that. I want to thank our amazing teachers that helped pull this off. We have Mrs. Atkins. And we have, I don't know if she's here. I saw her leave before, but I hope so. Our chorus teacher, Mrs. Norman. And our amazing 
amazing Mrs. Contini. She can even get some of us to step outside our comfort zone. So I thank you for that. All right, so I'm going to give some announcements for dismissal because we are coming up against some hard lunch times. So I'm going to ask that if second grade, if you could start entering on the top to go out to lunch, that would be great. And I'm going to ask that our fourth graders start to head out through the bottom so that you can get to lunch. And if everyone can just be seated for just a moment as they head out. Again, I want to thank you, and we hope you enjoyed the show.